I love ice cream from at home with Miss Joan. Good morning from at home with Miss Joan. It is ice cream week here, and we're going to make some yummy, yummy homemade ice cream, okay? And uh, we're going to start out with our family favorite, which is called Tutti Fruity. And uh, I've got everything set out here for it. The hardest thing about it is chopping the cherries. Oh, I get a bottle of these maraschino cherries, and then I just cut them real fine. Now, that's the slowest part of this uh, recipe here is chopping the cherries. And, yes, I could have used a plastic glove, but I can't cut them with a plastic glove. But I cut them up real fine. I just half the cherry and then fourth it, and that works out just fine. Tutti Fruity can be made out of any, just about any kind of fruit you want. Now, our family favorite, we zeroed in on putting cherries and pineapple in the ice cream product. But you could use bananas, you could use strawberries, you could put nuts in it, kind of make it like a banana split ice cream. But this is the Pollard's favorite, and we call it Tutti Fruity. All right, here we go. I'm going to put six eggs in my mixer here. I've already put five. And this is my six eggs going in. So I'm just mixing up my eggs, and to that I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Six eggs and two cups of sugar. I'm going to add a can of uh, uh, condensed milk. This is the condensed milk. Some people call it egg bread milk. That's really the name brand. This is a great bag of bread. Don't matter as long as it's sweetened condensed milk. And look here, this is a 14 ounce can. And I'm just pouring that in there. Mixing it in with my eggs and my sugar. You know that this milk here, condensed milk, is so good. It's real sweet. All right, there it is. And then I'm going to add a can of uh, evaporated milk. And of course, Mama call this canned milk. <laughs> Here it goes in kind of slow. I just think this bowl's gonna kind of fill up, so I'm gonna go down a notch on my mixer right now. Because we do have the eggs and sugar all beat up now, if you can see over into it, Jordan. Okay, there went one can of milk. And, uh, we're just kind of getting all that mixed up here. And uh, I'm having a hard time looking at the camera. She's waving at me, so I'm, I'm gonna do my best to look at the camera, okay? Now we're gonna start adding our ingredients, which is the crushed pineapple, a big can, which that's a 20 ounce can that's going in. I'll probably slosh it everywhere all over the bar and print your <laughs> big mess to clean up. Um, I'm going to have a little ice cream party. And I don't know if I'm going to make three different kinds or four different kinds, but whatever we decide on, we'll try to film it if at all possible. For my YouTube friends, all right, there went into pineapple. Of course, I'm going to stop it for the cherries because woo, -wee, it's kind of like making red velvet cake. This red cherries goes everywhere. All right. I'm just going to kind of rake them a little bit in here. I tell y'all what, I first heard cherry pineapple in this. It was like, ugh, you know, gonna ruin the ice cream. I promise you. You try this, <laughs> it's probably gonna wind up being your favorite too. Of course, around here, we make a lot of homemade ice cream in the summertime. And we like a lot of them. But this is one they always ask for. All right, I'm gonna turn it on slow. Well, that's just going to run. So we've put six eggs. We've put two cups of sugar, a, a can of uh, Eagle Brand milk, or it's also called uh, condensed milk, 14 ounces. And then we did a large can of pet milk, or a large can of evaporated milk. And uh, you're going to need several of these, but I'm just putting these here, and then I'm going to go over to the sinks and fill up my freezer, and we'll add the rest of the milk, okay? And then it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. So, we'll put that in while it's kind of going around real slow. See, if I put everything that that uh, ice cream freezer would hold, this bowl would be running over. So we're gonna do most of it here and then we're gonna finish filling up the freezer with uh, what we call canned milk and water. Now I'm gonna stir this around a little bit with this. Beater. All right. Now, we're going to 
go over to my sink where I've got my, I, that's a one gallon freezer that I've got on this one. <laughs> All right, see y'all, I got five ice cream freezers, okay? Because <laughs> when I have a little ice cream social, I like to have enough freezers to make it all at the same time. But this one right here is what we're going to use today. And it's a one gallon. So I'm going to freeze, I mean, excuse me, I'm going to pour into here what I've already mixed up. All right, got it all in there. And you can see that this thing, it has a fill line somewhere, but we don't want to go above it. Now, because this is a strong milk here, I, from here on out, I'm going to put a can of the milk and then I'm going to fill the can up with water, okay? So here goes one, because I'm trying to now finish filling the freezer up. When you can use regular milk out of your refrigerator, skim milk. This is what I'm using because it's just a little bit richer, okay? Here goes a can of water. Okay, and I can tell that I'm going to use another can of milk. So far, we've got three cans in here. There's only two cans of water going in, right? Right. Okay. This is about going to get us to the fill line of the freezer. I'm going to stir this up really good because all the goody, you know, wants to go to the bottom. See it? the rest of my cherry juice where we chopped up the cherries. I'm going to play it by ear and look at it. But I'm going to pour it in there. See it? Okay, so really what we used was the whole jar, those uh, cherries. Chopped them up and used all the juice. I'm doing this today ahead preparing for my party because I'm going to make several different kinds. So I'm going to put the lid on this. Normally I put the paddle in which I can go ahead and do that. It's going in my refrigerator, in other words. And put the lid on it. And then I'm going to put this in my refrigerator and it's going to chill till tomorrow when my party is. Okay, now here we are at party day. And this is my Tootie Fruity ice cream that uh, we mixed up. Like I told you, I mixed up all three of them yesterday. So I can enjoy my party today too, not be in the kitchen all the time. So, uh, I'm just giving it a little stir because I spent the night in the refrigerator. Okay. I'm going to set it down in here. Ugh. You have to kind of get it in the middle. Let's see. All All right. Right. Test run there. Look at that. Just took a good break or two. Now we're just going to fill it up with ice. It doesn't really use it. Shake the. It takes a lot of this stuff now. Oh, I got a box of my outside out there, and it's kind of got salt on top of it. But it comes in like a four-pound bag of ice cream. This is the ice cream that I got from Morton's. Okay, I got some more ice cream salt. This is just Morton's ice cream salt. Comes a lot of companies make it. And then I'm trying to keep it, the salt kind of off the top. Can't make it without the salt. It brought this ice down to a really long pickle period. We're even freezing. That's what makes our ice cream uh, get done in about 30 minutes. It's really easy when you got three for heavy. All right, here's my second freezer getting ready for my party. This is the Tootie Fruity. It run like 33 minutes. Oh, goodness gracious, so live. Look at that. Remember, it's got the cherries and the pineapple in it. I will, I'll tell you what's true now. I got me a clean spoon. I'm sorry, girl. I got to take a taste of this. I've been waiting a whole day. Mm-mm. Ooh, that's the Pollard's favorite, right there. We may have to have us a little dish before the company gets here. Let me show you how creamy it is. Oh, I got it real full, didn't I? Lord have mercy. Look at that. 
I thought that I would share with y'all how like uh, the party will flow because I like for everything to be ready so I can enjoy every single one of my company, okay? So what I do is, I, you know how the ice cream parlors have the ice cream down in those tubs down in the ice? So that's kind of what I set up in my deep freeze out here in the garage. Of course, you can see that the three kinds is on the wall and it says, help yourself. The three kinds of ice cream in the freezer. So they'll just come here and raise the lid and we've got them sitting all down there. And all in the world I've done was shuffle some of the food over into the other freezers and then lay the tablecloth down to make it look like a real clean and like an ice cream parlor. And they got their, they can just help their self to all three of these. And then uh, I just sat over here on my other freezer or a table, whatever I got handy that day. Just everything that they'll need for my little ice cream party. Uh, napkins, bowls, and spoons. And we're going to have a really, really good time. I'm looking forward to having my brother and his family over today and a couple of my friends. Okay, here's our family favorite, which is Tutti Fruity. See it? Oh, my goodness. See how that turned out? I think this thing is full. I might have got it a little too full. But anyway, got my little clean spoon here. I think I'm going to take a bite. Tutti Fruity. Mm-mm. You learned that right here at, at home with Miss Joan. This is the morning after the party. What I done last night with the three ice creams and my company left, I was tired. So I just left the whole thing in the freezer with the lid on it. And then this morning we brought them in here on the counter. And it didn't take long until they started kind of softening up a little where I could pull it out. And then I just poured all my leftover ice cream into these containers here. I like them because they will uh, stack. <laughs> Some people call these the shoe boxes, but they're clean and their shoes hadn't been in them. But anyway, this is what, uh, see there's my leftover Tutti Frutti. Now you can set that out for a few minutes. It's tasteless like it just come out of the freezer or stick it in the microwave for just a few minutes. You can scoop it out with the ice cream scoop because see it's not all that deep. So many times I've been guilty uh, putting my leftover ice cream in a bowl and it's this thick, takes forever for it to fall out a little bit. So I found that this trick works. So here's my leftover ice cream from the party. Preacher and me are going to enjoy a little bit of three different kinds of the days ahead. I just thought y'all might like this little tip from at home with Miss Joan.